Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good. Today in this video, we will going to see how to create a searchable dropdown in React.js. So as a beginner, it sound really confusing, but believe me, in this video, I'll going to show you how you can create a searchable dropdown within few minutes or maybe in few seconds. And for that, we will be using React Select Library. It's a free library that you can use to create not just searchable dropdown, but multi-select dropdown and creatable dropdowns, which we'll see in future videos maybe. But the motive of this video is to create a searchable dropdown. So let me first tell you what we will going to create and how exactly a searchable dropdown looks like. So let me scroll down and here is the working example. We have a dropdown and in this dropdown we can find list of colors. For example, I need to find silver color. I can type SIL and you can see all the other options are now eliminated and only those options that have SIL is present. So now I can easily select silver color. Similarly, if I want to search for orange, for example, I'll go and search OR. So all the names, all the list uh, of names that has OR in them is here. So I can select orange. So that's what basically a searchable dropdown looks like. And that's simple thing that we're going to create in this video. So, so we are on our VS code and I have created a react application. It's a simple bare bone react application that we got via create react app command. I will simply going to run this via npm start. So let me just start this npm start. And meanwhile, it is installing. I'm going to install the react select library. So open another terminal and you simply have to write a simple command npm install dash dash. Okay, uh, let me go back npm install dash dash save react hyphen select. That's it. Hit enter and let the dependencies download. So the dependency of react select is now downloaded in our project and uh, our application is also running on port uh, 3000. So let me go to my Chrome and search for localhost 3000 and our react application is up and running. Now we start by cleaning up a few of the things from here. We don't need this header. So I'll remove this. So our application is now pretty simple and clear. I need to create a dropdown. Before creating the dropdown itself, we need to create uh, something as an object or some options, right? That we will going to show to the user in the dropdown list. So let me create a dropdown of countries list. So I'll be having three or four countries and that country will be uh, having inside my dropdown and I can make it searchable. So let me go over the top and create a variable called options and this will be an array of objects. So let me just create our first object with uh, the key as value because uh, this will be the value of our dropdown when user selects an option, this value will going to be get selected. So I'll say this is India. Then what user will going to see in the dropdown is a label. So the label value of this will be L A B E L label will be India. Then let me create another object or just do L shift down two, three, four, five, six. I'll create few countries and Pakistan, for example. Then we have Sri Lanka and uh, Sri Lanka. Then Bangladesh, for example. Bangladesh, Indonesia, let me give some similar names. So Indo, Indonesia, uh, I just hope I'm not spelling it incorrect. Indonesia, I'm so sorry if any spelling is not so correct. Then what else? We have uh, Bhutan, for example, because B, I just want similar names. That's it. So we have our object or array of objects ready. I will be using this and creating a drop down. So inside the return statement, I will be using select component. 
uh, we got this select component from the library which we have installed that is uh, react select so let me import select from select from react minus or hyphen select so we have our react select i can make it self closing and then we need to pass few props so to create a drop down we simply need to have options right we already have an options array here i'll pass one prop inside the select that is options so options equals options that we have then another prop is the value prop so when user clicks or selects the option what value will it be so it will be selected option i haven't created this variable yet so let me create this variable first so we'll be using user state hook so i'll just create the variable selected option comma set selected option assign user state and i have imported user state from react after this we need to pass another prop and that is on change prop because when user change or clicks this function will get called and this is handle change so i still don't have this function i'll create this handle change function here in the top uh, const handle change assign an arrow function and this handle change will have the selected uh, selected option right so we'll got the selected option inside the handle change and we will use set selected option to set our selected option so that simply we are changing our variable or updating our variable selected option and uh, let me give uh, i have just forget to write the uh, parenthesis and the initial value so initial value will be null because i don't want to have anything selected uh, initially and after that what else we have i can just wrap it inside another div or let me just give some styling to this div i, I don't want to show this uh, uh, this drop down to the entire width of my screen so i just give a max width of 200 pixels maybe that's enough for me for now so 200 pixels and then we have our drop down let's see how it looks in the ui so we have our drop down and when i click on this uh, uh, drop down icon or anywhere in this drop down we got all the options india pakistan sri lanka bangladesh indonesia and bhutan let me search for um, india so you can see our search functionality is working and uh, if i want to say I, I when i just type ind it is giving me all the options that has ind inside of it then search for bhutan we have our bhutan here then uh, so this functionality is working we got few more props from the react select library so let's explore those we have used three props in the select first is the options then the value and then the on change nothing fancy here right uh, we got few more other props like uh, is loading so this prop will basically show a loading kind of ticker or loading kind of text when user types something let me show you if i just set it to true or it doesn't even require if i just write is loading it's basically true itself so you can write it either ways so let me put it back then uh, if i just say uh, india so you can see this loading is still there when i select even after selecting this loading is there so we have to programmatically change uh, this is loading to false and we can do it by applying some logic that's up to you how you want to apply that logic into your input box but this is something i want to show you that you can perform some sort of loading uh, animation in your input boxes so you can either do something like you can set this to a variable um maybe loading loading state kind of like this and you can create a state variable for this and set this a state variable when user change something and uh, set it to false again when user have selected something something like this so this is one of the props that we can use 
another prop that we have is is searchable which is of course we have not given earlier but we can make it false so this prop is by default true but if you uh, if you make it false what happens is we cannot search or our drop down uh, will no longer have the functionality to search i cannot type in the input box it's behaving like a simple drop down so if you have a drop down and your your client or your senior ask you to remove the search functionality you simply have to pass one single prop that is is searchable to false i hope that makes sense so let me turn it back to true again and now our search functionality should work as expected if we have nothing in the list like if i type random words that is not matching to any of the option we will see that no option available so that's the simplest way you can create a, a searchable drop down in react js using react select library i hope you have got the idea and uh, you have liked this video thank you so much for watching have a great day